where I'm coming okay. from. I said I'm just a person standing You want to have a no normal dialogue now? Normal dialogue. Okay, good. So what is your question? So the biggest question, the first question, how did the universe begin? Okay. Okay. So you're... Are you asking me from my perspective or yours? Well, let's have a word of yours. Okay, my perspective is everything is a creation of God. Yes? Including the universe, including you and me. So in short, that is my answer. Okay. And before the universe, there was nothing. There was God always. Yeah, God, but outside of him, there was nothing. And then he said, let it be and the rest happened. Is that how you would describe it? I would say God, we don't know what was there. His will was to make the universe. Listen, listen. We don't know what was there before, okay? We know for a fact that everything that came into existence has a beginning. Okay. God did not, God doesn't have a beginning, so he did not begin to exist so, so hence okay. by definition god is eternal okay. he is he's a he's the uncaused cause and the first cause so where you said everything has a beginning every every creation doesn't has a beginning oh, every creation okay, yes so you didn't say you Ex said everything sorry. every creation okay so sorry i'm just correcting you That's okay. okay so you said because i heard you say there was nothing and you said how could something come from nothing yeah that was my question actually that, you understand that? yeah so how can something come from nothing yeah. But let's dig a little deeper. What is nothing? What is there such thing as nothing? No. Imagine we open a room and there's no, nobody in there, there's nothing in there. Are you talking to him or me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Right. No, just so they understand, I want them to understand the concept. Okay. What is your understanding what, of nothing? Let's get that it doesn't exist. Okay. What is it? What do you understand by it? In scientific, have we ever found an empty space with nothing in? No, no. It's not, even no, empty space is not nothing. Thank you. Good. So therefore, nothing doesn't exist. How would you True. define nothing? There being completely nothing, not atoms, not nothing. There's nothing. Good. And as far as we're aware, we've never found nothing. Okay. There's so always it, something if you want to call it an atom. Here is. To, so, so where you said you can't get something from nothing, you started on a fallacy because nothing doesn't exist. Actually, that was my question. No, 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 no. Nothing. Doesn't you were not listening. No, no, no. You said instead of you putting words in my mouth, why don't you ask me? This is a new discussion. Ask me a question. Because okay. you're assuming things about no, me. No, no. You came halfway no, no. during the discussion. That's what I heard. No, that's why I said you came halfway during the discussion. And I heard and what I heard. Wait a minute, let me finish. What's the problem? Exactly, you were there, Mark, right? Did I always say something comes from nothing? No, no, no. Thank you very much. Because Mark was there during the entire discussion, he knows what I was talking to. Wait a minute, I'll let you talk. Let me talk now. Let me talk now. Because you came in the middle of the discussion, you asked me asking that question. Right. Can something come from nothing? Yeah. That was my question. Yes. What is your answer to that? Uh, nothing doesn't exist. Good. So can so, something so, come no, from no, nothing? So you, you said can some, nothing doesn't exist. Good. It's not something. So the answer is no, right? But, but no, the answer is you cannot use that. It's, a, it's, it's, it's illogical. You're saying can something come from something that doesn't exist? So where did the universe come it, from for you? It could always be here. It could be eternity. No, don't say it could be. Have you got evidence for that? No, I don't have evidence. So why are you speculating then? Everything is speculation. No, not everything. <laughs> everything is speculation. Are you a man or a woman? No, How do I know you're Are you a man or a woman? No, 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 I'm no, speculating no, you're a woman. No, no, but one minute. Is that true? No, it's not true. But speculation is just a guess. But what I'm saying so is... So don't guess. No, what, Give me facts. No. I thought you believed in how, facts. How can you have facts before? You what do you mean have before? Facts before the beginning. What do you mean you can't have facts before? What do you mean you can't have we facts? No, one, one minute, one minute. Once upon a time, we didn't know how the world worked. Would you agree? Yeah. We didn't have facts. Yeah. You didn't know. No, no, none of us. We, no, no, we knew once upon a time. Right, okay. Since. Okay. Let, can you can you please stop assuming and let me answer? What you do is you ask a question and then you answer it yourself. Okay, answer it. Answer please stop doing that. It, this is the third time you've done it. Okay. Okay. Go Your question was, did we know at one point that? What was it? That the earth came into existence or? Yes? yes? Okay. At one point in time, when we did not know God, when we did not have prophets, that time for humans did not exist. Because we as Muslims believe that the first man was a prophet of God and he was given the information about how we came into being and our purpose from day one. Okay? So we as Muslims believe, by the way, when I say Muslim, I don't mean the people who, who believe in Prophet Muhammad and just after that. For us, a Muslim by definition is one who submits to the will of God. Yes, yes. And we believe that Adam is one of them. Yes. And every prophet after that and everyone who believed in them yes. are Muslims. Yes. So anyone who submits to the will of God is a Muslim. Okay. So we believe the first man was a Muslim yes. and he already knew where we came from yes. and what was the purpose of our creation. Does that answer your question? No. So when you say, we didn't know, speak for yourself, don't speak no, no, for everyone. No, 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 no. you misquoted me. Why I didn't. You misquoted me. You said you've got to come with facts. What I said was, if we go back a hundred years, did we know everything? Did we know about the sky? Did we know about aerodynamics? No. 
So that means we didn't have facts. You're doing it again. You're asking a question and then answering it. No, 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 no. Stop I'm doing that, mate. I'm explaining. When what you my point what was. is the meaning of everything? Everything we know so far? Yes, there are many things, so inventions which we know today, so which we didn't know. Who? Who's interrupting who? No, stop I'm telling me. you, I'm telling stop you. What do you do is, you ask a question and then you answer it. No, 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 stop I'm doing that. I'm expanding on my answer. Ask a question okay. and wait for the answer. So you said you got to come with facts. What I'm saying is, a hundred years ago, we didn't know everything. We didn't have facts. We don't know everything today either. There are many things we don't do today. A hundred years later, now we're more educated and we can say this works like this, this works like that. Now I have facts to back it up what I just said. So you can't tell me you've got to have facts for everything because we don't know everything. When did I say bring facts for everything? You, you, said, you said bring facts. For everything? Yes, you said bring facts. Did I say for everything? Bring facts. I said bring okay. facts about okay. things okay. which we okay. know. So for example, we don't have facts for everything. I don't know you want to have a discussion. No, I do. You want to have an no, argument. No, no, no. If you don't know about an argument, I don't want to waste my time with you. Okay, so once again, where did the universe come from? Don't speculate. It's always been here. Don't speculate. Okay, where's the evidence it was always there? Because, because we cannot see a beginning. Where you said there was nothing, that doesn't exist. So, so, minute, so you cannot use the word nothing in the concept of pure truth. Nothing. It doesn't exist. You finished? Okay. So because you we can't see you, a beginning. Sorry, okay. We can't see a beginning, okay. so then we have to assume a high probability probability that there's always been something okay that probability is a fallacy shall i tell you why? why okay first and foremost you're saying that just because we don't know what happened before for example before the big bang or sure. something like that you just assume things in other words you just no, probability. Sorry. no no there's a probability it's speculation it's pure speculation probability. the probability would be for example do you believe that the universe is expanding uh, it is expanding. Do you know that no. the scientists have actually given a rough age of the universe? Yes. Do you know how they came to the, uh, that conclusion? Do you know how much it is? Yeah, it's about 13.7 billion years. 13. Do you know how they got that age? Uh, from the speed of light. Speed of light? Yes. No, it's not that's from the speed of light. It's, it's, that's no, it's not. It. That's animation. No, it's not speed of light. How does, it, how does speed of light tell you the age? And the radiation. Ah, finally. Oh, no, okay. So, I do know. so there is, in, if that is age, does it have a beginning? Well, no, because no, because all they're saying is from the point where there was an explosion. I didn't say there wasn't some big explosion. Just because there's an explosion and the radiation goes this way, it doesn't mean that before the explosion nothing existed. No, no, no. You said existed. there is an age. If something has an age, it has a beginning, right? No. What does age mean no, to you? No, because you're talking about where the universe blew up. We're not talking about what was before that. Okay. Imagine for one minute. Imagine there is scientists who say the universe could get bigger and contract and it get bigger contract so the bit that gets, one minute the bit which scientists say that if you google it you'll find it so oh yeah no, you brought it up so you google it <laughs> the onus is on you to provide the evidence so if not we, me if we believe this is a point in time yeah all of a sudden there's a big bang what they call it okay we measure this and it contracts yeah what about before minute, that minute, the question was about before minute. that Universe By the way, where is one minute the universe expands again and we measure it. And you Where's say the evidence oh, for that? It had a beginning. One minute, this is the second third, He's doing third, it again, he's talking to everyone except me. Sorry, answer. Can you please answer the question I asked you? Where is the evidence that the universe is eternal? Where is the evidence? Because the onus is on you because, because, because you are the one who made the statement. Because we can't see where there was nothing. So don't speculate. No, we have to. We have to it's a high probability. So we can say, okay, the you can see matter, High probability of what? That it's always been here. Where is the probability based on? Because there's no what is the probability nothing. based on? Okay, so you're, you were saying before... I'm not saying anything, I'm asking you the question. Okay. What happened let's before the Big Bang? Okay, let's, let's, let's put it a different way. No, no, let's, no. Let's okay, go on. Okay. Rephrase it if you want. So, let's say at the beginning there was God. And there was no, no, else. forget God. You don't believe in one God. Minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Do you believe in God? One minute. You said there was, there was God yeah. and From my else. point of view, from yes. Point of view, correct? I'm asking from your point of view now. Correct. So it was nothing. You said nothing and God. Would you agree with that? I'm saying from, no listen, listen, nothing. listen, the question was for you. Please answer the question. I'm using your own principle. Don't yes. answer the question with the question. So once again, for you to say there is a high probability that the universe always exists, can you please substantiate that statement? What I'm saying to you is, are you saying, are you coming, your premise is that there was God? And are you going to answer the question with the question? I'm asking it, but I, I'm Don't answer the question with the question. Your own principle. Can you please answer my question? What, this is the third time I'm asking. You said there's a high probability the universe was eternal. Yeah. Can you please provide evidence for that okay. statement? So the evidence is quite simple. Which is? Okay. So if the world and the universe wasn't here... Are you talking to me or them? There would be nothing. Are you talking to them or me? Okay. Would you okay. agree with that? I can talk to Don't ask me a question with a question. Give me okay. a so, scientific okay, okay, okay. substantiation so, we'll go for it. We'll from go for anyone it. who makes okay. that claim. So what I'm saying is, if there was no universe, there would be nothing. 
the problem you have is that we can never, we, to this point, we have never found nothing. We've only ever found matter, which then logically would tell you the probability is there's always been something. Because this nothing that you're talking about, we've never found. Can I ask you something? You mentioned about matter and about nothing else. Yep. Is, is that your worldview of the world, of the universe? Well, you either got to have energy or no, no energy. energy is something as well? Exactly. Okay, yeah. so what is your worldview? You're, in, in other words, you're saying that there is only matter and nothing else. Am I, am I right? I think he's an atheist, yes. I, I can safely assume so, based on his questions. Is that right? No, you're wrong. So what are you agnostic? Don't worry. I'm a no, no. I'm a person standing here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to know in what if you are going to hide your faith no, no, no. or your belief no, no. or your worldview. How asking, will I how will I reason with you? I'm asking you. I'm are you afraid question. to tell who you are? One minute. Can we not have a dialogue? No. I need to know you no, from I'm, which point I'm, of view to approach you. You're asking a question of a question. Can we not just have dialogue? That's but you're not even answering my question. You are making assumptions, not answering. I said, I said I'm just a person standing here. No. My question was, what is your evidence for the universe always existing? You still haven't given a reason. I have. I just gave it to you. What is that? I told you that it's either got to be something or nothing. <laughs> A that's not a reason. It's either yes or no. So that's not a reason. So minute, so minute, that's not a reason. That's not an answer. It is, it is an answer. No, it's not. You either got to have a universe, yes, or nothing. Why? Yes or no. Why is that? What about God? About what about one God? Minute, one minute. God is not the universe and God is not nothing. So I've given him another option which can be there. No, no. Why are you either, saying no? Either we got to have something or we got to have nothing. Why? Who made that who made that rule? So what else could there be? God. No, no, why, why not? Well, where is he? What is he? Is he something? Uh, can you prove now it? Now it's a question can with a question. Can you prove now it's a question with a question. Oh, okay, can you prove your consciousness exists? I can prove that something is it. Look around you. So we can prove... Is your, conscious, is your consciousness moment, existing? We can prove that there's something here. Yeah, we know matter exists. We know can that already. there's nothing here? We know matter exists. Can you prove there's nothing here? There's nothing exists. Doesn't exist. So why are you asking me to prove something that doesn't exist? So That's a silly argument. No, so therefore I'm right. So I, but God is not nothing. Which part of that you don't understand? According to you, not according to me. Oh, so you don't believe in God? I didn't say that. Do you believe in God? I didn't say that. Are you going to answer the question? I'm just a person standing. No, but that, question. my question is, do you believe in God? I'm asking you to prove it. I didn't ask you to prove God. I asked you, do you does He exist or not? There could be something out there. It, does God exist? Could be something. Does God exist? What's your definition of God? Good. Finally, it's getting somewhere. Okay. For me, God is an intelligent being who is self-existing. This cross. He's powerful, he's got certain attributes which humans don't nine, have. Nine, yeah. Yes, this for me is God Almighty. Okay. Okay. okay, now when you use the term God, what do you understand by it? Could be intelligence, could be anything. anything. Could, sorry, could be what? Anything. Could be anything. Intelligence. intelligence. Intelligence? Intelligence. Is that your definition of God? Just intelligence? It could be. Okay, do you have intelligence? I have intelligence. Not. No. So it cannot be God then? So what is God no, to no, you then? No. I said could be. No, I'm asking you, so what, what is, is the God? difference between you and God then? You have intelligence, God has intelligence. So what's the difference between you and God? You're saying an intelligence of a human must be by default the same as intelligence of a God. I didn't say I'm asking you. You just said, well, you're intelligent, you must be God. No, because you, de so I, hold on. you define God as only intelligence. I don't know, I said it could be. That is your definition, you should know what you're defining. No, no, no. But if I don't have it, if I don't have it, if we can't prove it, it's all probability and maybe. Okay, and does God maybe. exist? Maybe. Maybe's, you don't know. I don't but know, maybe's, it could be. You're not Bro, don't help him out, he knows. I did, no, no, I did. He's already dug no, himself no, in a hole no, no, by, saying, no, no. by saying that I don't want to say who I am, I'm just a person. No, no. For you to say that, look, at least that other gentleman, Mark, was sincere enough and humble enough to say, we I'm agnostic. To I'm agnostic. Here's the point which you're not answering. You ran away for from you. It. No, I did not. You're My not. question you you're still haven't away. answered. You said there's a probability that the universe always existed. You still right. haven't defined why. I have, I've told you why. Given as a reason I've why. Told you why. Because it's either nothing or there's something. Would you all agree that's logical? Yes, that is. It's either something or there's nothing. Yes. Right. Yes. Is there something around us? There is, yes. Yes. Is there nothing anywhere in the universe? Is there a space where there's nothing? No. No. So what does that show us? What else is left? That show us, one minute. That shows us, logically, that there's definitely something. No, there's definitely something. How does that answer my question? Nothing. Because it proves... My question wasn't about nothing. My question was about something called the universe yes. for it to eternally exist. Yes. When you say eternally exist, that means at no point during time did it ever not exist. Okay. Am I right? Based on your term eternity, I hope you understand something of the term eternal. Yes. That was the one yes. So did the universe always exist? As far as we can tell, probably yes. Who is we? Scientists. Oh, really? So you know any scientist who says that it exists eternally? Possibility. Can you name one 
and just made that statement. No, no, don't give me possibilities. Can you name? So you said based on us, so we, and you said scientists, and you can't name a single scientist who made that statement. One second, I will tell you. Forget any scientists or anyone. So who's we then? We can't see nothing. Forget about nothing. We don't talk about nothing. We have to talk about something called the universe. Where is your evidence that it always existed? Before the universe, what was there? Was no, don't ask me question with the question. Remember? Okay. Your principle. Okay. Okay. Answer my question. Where, which oh, scientist oh, ever... Oh. Wait, wait. Which scientist ever made the statement that the universe is eternal? The, name me one scientist. No, 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 one no, credible no, scientist no, who I'm made that you. statement. No, don't... You're not a scientist. You're not a scientist. It doesn't matter. It does. No, because no, you no, said no, according no, to no, the no, scientist. Okay, so, so I asked you who is me. He said according to the scientist. According to his logic. If you're not a, a historian, you can't have an opinion about history. If you're not a bricklayer or construction worker, you can't have an opinion about a house. That's what he said to me, didn't he? He just said to me, you're not, again. A scientist. you're not a scientist. You're, 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 who are you? Asking a question and then answering yes it yourself. No. Think about That's, what you just said. Yes or no? Think why didn't you think about the fact that you know you made this statement, it's on camera. I asked you according to whom is the wait, 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 you talk, let me talk. You made a very clear statement in front of the camera. I asked you, whose statement is this? I just told you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I asked you whose statement is this that the universe is eternal. You said we. I asked you who is this we? You said the scientists. Then I asked you, name me one scientist who made that statement, and you failed miserably. Not miserably, I just don't have the name of... I, I, I well, don't make statements you don't know. No, no, it's not, I don't know. I well, bring it, it and then make I, the statements. I, I so right now we have no evidence from this guy, yes, we or any... Yes, we or any you no, your, your word is nothing. No, no, evidence, your words no, are nothing, was, unless you can back it up with science, was, because that is your belief. Was that? The universe, there was nothing. Do you want to take this place? Because this guy is struggling. He doesn't know about science, he doesn't know about religion, and he thinks he knows everything. He, in fact, you were so adamant to talk to me that he somehow got me by saying that, oh, something came from nothing. I never made that statement. Okay, talk to them, because I think I'm done with you. Because you're already talking. Yeah, look, 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 I'm running. Wow. I'm running at light speed, no one can see me. Shalom, no tree gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a waste of time, honestly. Next time, learn some science and then come. I will use the term nothing. Next time, watch my video full and then you'll see. No, I don't want to ask you a question. You had your chance. You already dealt with that. I'm running at light speed.